Hello, Satnam. I'm Stephanie with That Tantra Life here on WGC. So happy to see you today and to be bringing this wonderful Kriya with, uh, with a meditation at the end for self-love to you. Um, and I'm just wondering, are you horny? Because if you're horny, this isn't that type of video, but this is going to help you with that. Um, Oftentimes, feeling horny is really an opportunity. It's an opportunity for creativity. What sexual energy is trying to tell us is that we need to start moving, particularly with men who represent the physical um, in, in, sexual in sexual intercourse and women who represent sort of the spiritual. There can be a conflict when we're feeling like our sexuality is unbalanced. So whether you're horny, or you are feeling like you have no sex drive right now, this Kriya is going to really help you balance. Um, when men are feeling sexual in this way, they often, in a toxic way, will look for women to express their creativity, to find a softness, to find that femininity, to give them a purpose, uh, a vision. Because without vision, you don't really have a purpose. Um, and, and that can sometimes be morphed into taking from women. Um, oftentimes men who have a lot of women in their aura, a lot of women around them, um, this is because they're quite scattered and they don't have a vision and they're looking for the feminine to give them that vision, which is very healthy, but also um, when it's gone about in this fashion, it's not very good for the man. So what we're trying to cultivate is for a man to make himself feel good and for the woman to make herself feel good. And that way, when you're giving and receiving pleasure with a partner, for the man, he's not looking for the woman to make him feel good. In fact, he knows how to make himself feel good, and he's making her uh, feel a lot of pleasure, which in turn gives him even more pleasure. And for women, if you're using your sexuality in a toxic way, manipulatively, as currency, or allowing someone to take from you when you're not really feeling ready or warmed up, this is going to give you a sense of a connection with your sexuality, connection with your body, balancing it, moving this energy through you. And what Kundalini energy is all about is taking these root chakras that are wonderful but really make us decide that we're going to be thinking about sex and eating all the time if we're stuck there and pulling them out of being stuck there into higher consciousness into our heart so that we can feel connected to our partners and to ourselves and act out of love into our throat chakra so we can express ourselves um, again when you when you're feeling horny all the time you're you're not expressing yourself. And so you're trying to find a way to stand up for yourself and express. So this moving this sexual energy into the throat chakra is great. And then we're going to, again, move this energy into the third eye. The third eye, Shakti, Shiva, and me. The third eye, right? When they come together, when this masculine and feminine energy comes together, we can really have a vision that's informed by all of these passions that we have, but really can come to fruition out into the world and be projected. And our crown chakra, how other people see us and really expressing the love that we feel inside, the love we're generating through our entire body out into our consciousness and have it really become part of our identity. This is Bella, she's a sweetheart. Um, so that's really the goal here, is to take this beautiful sexual energy and to stop watching porn and to start using it to create this vision you have for your life during this downtime where we're thinking about things and we have all this time to kind of invite in all of these short-term pleasures that really don't amount to a lot of long-term satisfaction, health, and vitality. So let's use all of this sexual energy Let's, let's bring it through our bodies. Let's, um, let's experience some true vitality and true pleasure and learn how to please ourselves so we don't need to drain another person. 
um, that we can combine and merge with another person. Um, and in Tantra, we don't see ourselves or others as objects. And sex can be very objectifying. The way sex is portrayed in modern culture, the way it's spoken about, the way we even feel. Um, whether you've had sexual trauma that, you know, is, is massive or not, on some level we've all been traumatized sexually because of the way sex is spoken about in our society. It's shameful, it's um, secretive, and um, we're here to break that cycle today with ourselves and for the future. Um, so let's move this energy, let's express it, and let's see ourselves as these divine beings, not objects. We are experiencing this life, and this is the only time anyone like you will ever have existed, ever, whether you believe in past lives or future lives, but this is the only time you'll be who you are, and that's really valuable and really beautiful in what we believe in Tantra. And so we're going to love on ourselves, and we're gonna treat ourselves as divine. And so with every Kundalini yoga meditation and class, we always tune in with the mantra Ong Namo Gurudev Namo, which translates to, I bow to the inner teacher within me, the guru within me to bring darkness to light. And so we'll start by rubbing our palms together, feeling some energy, taking a nice deep inhale through the nose, filling the belly with air bringing the hands to the chest, thumbs at the sternum, pushing up slightly, chest is wide, shoulders are up and back, eyes are inward and up at the third eye point, the tongue is at the upper palate, filling the belly with air now, inhale and exhale, pulling the belly button towards the spine on the exhale, letting all of the air release. And inhale, filling the belly, filling it a little more, letting the air move into the lower chest, to the bottom of the heart. Exhale. And inhale, filling the belly, the lower chest, the heart, and the upper chest now, expanding ourselves, expanding our capacity. And exhale, bringing the belly button back to the spine. And inhaling to tune in now. Suspend and hold the breath, tightening the muband, holding the root lock, anus, sex organs, rectum, squeezing up. And exhale. Now please come into frog pose. This is the beginning of us sort of moving this energy from the lower chakras up. 
We're going to do about 53 frogs. If you don't want to count, you can simply just time it for three minutes. We come into frog by putting our hands between our legs, touching our heels together up on our tippy toes. And we'll inhale up. Exhale, straightening the legs. Head is down and hanging loose. Inhale up. Exhale down. Coming to standing. Inhale up. Exhale down. Five. Keep going. And I'm going to just talk to you a little bit more about tantric practices. We're in a process of purifying our bodies so that we can become this container for amazing sexual energy. And sexual energy is really quite heavy. And that's why it's stuck down there, because it just wants to get released from our sex organs. Keep going. Three minutes. You're doing great. And this energy wants to get released. And what we want to do is to transform it into orgasmic energy, which is much lighter and which can travel through our bodies and go into our organs and revitalize them, run through our chakra system and our energy system into all of these parts of our bodies and nourish them. And so by doing these exercises and getting conscious about our body, we're creating a purification process so that the channels of energy can move. So anyone who tells you Tantra is just about some massage um, is missing the point. Yes, there's massage. Yes, there's breathing. Yes, there's ecstasy and there's eye gazing and there's all of these other beautiful neo-tantric practices. But we really do also have to love ourselves through action, through moving, and through some discipline that makes us feel really great because that's how we open the channels and prolong these feelings. You can have a really great orgasm, you can have a really great multiple orgasm, but if you don't know how to get along with your partner or if you don't know how to forgive your dad, um, you're not really achieving true ecstasy in your life. And so as tantrics, it's all holistic. Sex is a really vital part, but we want to live blissful lives of pleasure. Keep going. We have about one minute left. You're doing great. I'll get up and do it with you. Let's do 15 more. 14. 13. 12. 11. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Wonderful. And please come sitting on your knees into rock pose. And for this part of the Kriya, we're going to do a two-part breath. It will be an inhale and an exhale. So we'll inhale at the top. And then on the exhale, we will bow to ourselves four times. Holding the exhale out on the bow and mentally chanting sa ta na ma which means um, birth, life, death, and rebirth. So we're really merging with the cycle of life. And we can see that happening right now in our society, right? Like we're having this amazing rebirth. And so if we can really get our subtle bodies as well as our physical bodies, and when I say subtle body, I mean energetic bodies, in sync with 
with the um, changes that are happening and just in symbiosis with what's happening on the planet, then we can really flow through these polarities with great grace and ease and rise above some of the madness that's happening right now. And so that's what we want to do for you. So inhale and exhale silently. Sa, ta, na, na. Three minutes again. Exhale. Inhale at the top. Exhale. Inhale and bow to your yoni. Bow to your lingam. And Satanama is a beautiful mantra because when it's condensed, it's translated into Satnam, which means my true self. And when we extend the mantra into Satanama, which is just like elongating the sound current, it's broken down to a more granular definition of birth, life, death, and rebirth which is the encompassing of our true self, of the true self of all things. So in Kundalini Yoga, we often say Satnam as a greeting, which is just truth is my identity. I really love that about these sound currents of Gramukhi. In just 30 seconds more. And really feel your true self. Come up and inhale. And please tighten the sex organs, the rectum, the belly button. Pull everything up, up, up. Eyes are inward and upward at the third eye point. Tongue is at the palate. Keep holding, keep holding in. And exhale. Okay, now we're going to do one more minute of frogs. Just about, or about 21 frogs. So you know the drill. Heels are together, toes are on the floor. Hands are on the fingertips in between the legs. Knees are bent. 
and we will straighten to exhale. Come up, chin is up, inhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Come back onto the knees. If that's not comfortable for you, you can sit in easy pose. Also, you can put a blanket or some sort of support under your bum or pillow make it a bit easier. And now we're going to put our hands in prayer pose. And for the men, the thumb, the right thumb is over the left. And for women, the left thumb is over the right. We're going to inter uh, bend down the, all fingers but the pointer finger and extend the arms, the hands above our head with the arms and elbows sort of tucked near the ears and the temples of the head. And we're going to do a Kriya called Sat Kriya. And you can do this Kriya on its own if you're just really feeling like a bit wound up and want to kind of move the sexual energy really quickly but don't want to do this entire exercise. You can also do the frogs and the bowing at a shorter amount of time, cut it down, and um, make this part of your daily practice to move the energy. So Sat Kriya is great, um, great way to quickly move sexual energy. And we're going to pull on the diaphragm and do a diaphragmatic breath. Breathing in and pumping the navel point, saying Sat Nam, Sat Nam, Sat Nam. So on the inhale, it's kind of just pulling Sat Nam, Sat Nam, eyes are closed at the third eye point. Nam, sut, 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 nam, sut. Nam sat 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 nam really let your belly go in tantra we believe that a washboard ab is actually tension so it's okay to have a little bit of a belly that's softening helps move the energy without tension sat nam sat nam sat nam sat nam sat nam sat nam really let the belly go and come back in nam sat 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 
Nam Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat Nam Inhale Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze Holding the rectum, anus, navel point, sex organs, up, 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 up. And exhale, hands are wide. And feel your magical, glorious, beautiful aura. And just relax your breath. and sense the shift that's gone on in your body. Feel your magic. And please take a quick rest into Shavasana to prepare for our meditation. I'm gonna relax in Shavasana or you can remain seated and with your eyes closed and just continue to feel these shifts and allow yourself to melt a little more. To feel anything that was clinging to you that's now been allowed to let go and released into the earth. And we're going to do a meditation. When you're ready, please come sitting in easy pose. And this meditation is for self-love. So we've just moved all of this energy from our lower chakras, and I'm sure you're feeling it kind of rushing up into your shoulders, into your head, through your spine. It's a really beautiful feeling. And now we're going to amplify that even further with a wonderful meditation for self-love. And the mudra is the right hand is here, almost like making a declaration just above the shoulder. And the left arm is covering you above your aura, kind of creating a container where this love can live. And the breath is going to be the one minute breath, which you can use with or without this mudra um, in your free time. And this breath is a 20 second inhalation, very slow, sucking the air in for 20 seconds, holding for 20 seconds, and then exhaling for 20 seconds. And it's all done quite gently very methodically, very slowly. And if you're having any trouble with it, what I want you to do is to just switch to five seconds. As long as the amount of time is equal on the inhalation, the hold, and the exhalation, you'll work your way up. You can go from five, and then the next time try 10, and then finally 20 when you feel like you've mastered it. And what this breath really does is help us to notice where we're struggling. If it's on the inhale, then maybe we're having trouble letting things in. And you don't need to judge that, but maybe you're having trouble inviting the things you want. If it's on the hold, then maybe you're getting some things, but they're falling through and you're having trouble holding. And if it's on the exhale, then that's my big one, letting go. And there's a lot that we always need to constantly let go of in life and that can be very hard. We're, let going, we're letting go of a lot right now. But without judgment, just observe where you might be struggling on this breath. And we're going to do this for three minutes. You can do it up to about 11 um, and even up to about 30 minutes if you really master it and love how it feels.
And I like to chant Satan Nama to help keep the time. So about five Satan Namas is about 20 seconds. And inhale, bring the arms above the head, hands are wide, pull up on the mole bond, anus, sex, organs and rectum, belly button up, 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 pull up. And exhale, cannon fire through the mouth. Inhale again. Pulling up, stretching up. Exhale through the mouth. Last time, inhale. Stretch up, pull up, pull up. Exhale. And wide arms. I hope your heart is feeling full of love. I hope you feel this energy transform throughout your body. You can rely on one or any of these exercises to help move this wonderful energy of yours through your body in new ways and project creativity and a vision into the world of your true self. Thank you so much for joining us on WGC. Come to that Tantra life for more practices like this and to meet our community. And Satnam, be well. Love and light. Sat